Time for the Mount Vernon Rams from WMIX Sports. Rams basketball on WMIX and the Section 618 app. It's powered by Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports in Nashville. Not Vernon Rams basketball is also presented in part by Renlake College, SSM Health, State Farm Agent Tony Wilt, Southern Illinois Tile and Carpet Supply, First Mid Bank and Trust, Munkin Toyota, and Munkin Buick GMC. Your Mount Vernon Culver's, Country Financial Agent Josh Finley, Pam Kirkpatrick, Coldwell Banker, and also by Landers Collision Centers, Bean Insurance, People's National Bank. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac and Hall Insurance Group. We take you to the SSM Health Broadcast Booth for the Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Mount Vernon Rams basketball starts now. Disappointment one night ago for the Mount Vernon Rams as they fell on the road at Centralia and now they return home against a team equally as tough. Good evening, I'm Chris Hugo with you for the Landers Towing and Collision Center's pregame show. Zach Matt Miller with us in the SSM Health Broadcast Booth. Eli Eplin back at the Mount Vernon studio tonight. It's the 7-2 Mount Vernon Rams, the 10-0 perfect Nashville Hornets. They are conference champions in the river-to-river -river Mississippi after last night's win over Carterville in a big win last night. It was the second time they'd played Carterville in less than seven days, and the Hornets are coming in pretty tough, but that's no surprise. Coached by 500-plus game winner Wayne Harry, the Hornets are going to be very tough defensively and very tall, slender, and athletic inside the paint. We'll talk about more of that coming up when we have your Munkin Toyota Buick GMC keys to the game. We'll also have your Hall Insurance Group starting lineup still to come on this Landers Towing and Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight landers We'll take a quick break, come back, get you set for this one. The 7-2 and two Mount Vernon Rams here at home against the 10-0 Nashville Hornets. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Where's your playground? The end of the road is where the real fun begins. During the Jeep Celebration event at Hulse Hours in Nashville, Illinois, adventure is never out of reach. All right, all right. Make memories with every mud pit in rocky terrain. Earn that post-trip car wash. Jeep hair don't care. Let's start your new Jeep life at Hulse Hours Auto and Motorsports in Nashville, Illinois. It'd be real cool if you did. Where's your playground? When you have a new Jeep, it's anywhere you want. Jeep hair don't care. Never had a Culver's Butter Burger? Here are the three things you'll want to remember. Fresh, never frozen beef. Seared after you order. Crowned with a lightly buttered toasted bun. I guess that's why the number one reaction to eating a Culver's Butter Burger is, Whoa, that is some burger. Welcome to Delicious. And your new favorite are seared after you order Culver's Butter Burger. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Back to Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports. Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports Group in Nashville, the official voice of high school sports here on WMIX, WMIXSports.com, in the Section 618 app. Good evening, I'm Chris Hugo again with you. Big Jake on, on the way. He had a call of a game earlier on the WMIX Sports Basketball Showcase. We'll check in with the Tony Wilt State Farm scoreboard here in just a moment. Thankfully, we have a lengthy scoreboard because the clock started at 15 minutes and counted down, and we took the air probably at about uh, 12 minutes, 11 minutes or so, and it has expanded to 19 minutes and 30 seconds. So I think they're really trying to stay true possibly to a 5 o'clock start here from Shagnon Gymnasium, so no worries here. We have plenty of content to keep you apprised of the situation here on WMIX. We're on 94.1 FM tonight. Also on the Section 618 app with audio and video streams, hopefully to keep your heart content. Taking a look at a quick scoreboard update, sponsored by Tony Wilt, your State Farm agent in Mount Vernon. Having a local agent matters for your insurance. Anthony Wilt and his State Farm team are here to help. First, girls hoops today. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams stay undefeated, both in JV and varsity. The JV Lady Rams a 44-34 winner over the Marion Lady Wildcats on the road. The Lady Rams varsity now 9-0 on the year. They were 59-42 winners over the Marion Cats on the road today. You heard that game on AM 940 and 96.5 FM, and of course right here on the Section 618 app. Ducoin, a 62-14 winner over Elvarado ZR today. Benton beat Anna Jonesboro in the girls' game 36-24. Handwriting a little sloppy here. Carterville took overtime. A buzzer-beating three for the Lady Lions beat Massac County on the road today, 69-66. Woodlawn all over Weber Township earlier this morning, 76-49.
Marissa Coulterville, a 57-33 winner over Redbud, while Breeze Central beat Columbia, 58-37. Pinckneyville took care of Christ Our Rock Lutheran, 38-33. Edwardsville beat Collinsville big time, 71-29. Salem, of course, beat Carlisle, also a girls game, 62-22. And on senior day, Heron beat Murfreesboro, 69-28. Boys action today, Mount Carmel. Well, they beat the Fairfield Mules, 54-37. Fairfield now 13 and one. NCOE, a 62-40 winner over Thompsonville, while Hamco edged Carmi White County 42-40. Cobden beat Agape Christian 61-38. Modern Day, a 58-47 winner over a previously undefeated Mascuda team. Bree Central beat Columbia 56-26, while a game you heard earlier on the showcase here on WMIX-FM. Pinckneyville doubled up Woodlawn 62-31. Edwardsville all over Collinsville 51-19. That is a boys game today. In progress right now after three in a South 7 contest, the Centralia Orphans lead the Cahokia Comanches to the tune of 41 to 28. See what else we have. Oh, today's games. That's right. We've streamed two already for you here on the Section 618 app. The Mountford and Freshman beat the Nashville Hornets today 60 to 41, while in the JV contest, Mountford and came from behind to beat the Hornets 39 to 29 here today. You watched both of those on the Section 618 app a moment ago. We have the varsity coming up for you in about 18 minutes now. Here from Shagnon Gymnasium, we're live in the SSM Health broadcast booth, sshealth.com slash doctors to find your next physician. SSM Health, the healing power of presence. We have your Munkin Toyota Buick GMC keys to the game coming up in just a short while here on this Landers Toy and Collision Center's pregame show. The Nashville Hornets come in. 10-0 and 0 on the year. This is one of those matchups that I think everybody wanted to see regularly on the schedule between these two powers. Obviously, the rich tradition of the Hornets, the 1978 Class A state champs, uh, runners-up in 14 and 19, if memory serves correctly. Very well-coached program over the years. Of course, you look at Darren Lee, Brad Weathers of recent memory, and now Wayne Hari, and the legend that is Wayner, of course. The girls' program, go I think, an overall record in his 13 years of 129-1. and one in the River to River Mississippi, and then assisting the boys' program as well, and then taking over the boys' program. Not too, I believe, two years removed now from a 35-3 and finish in 2018-19. So this is a program that is very, very strong and, of course, has a lot of success over the years. And, you know, it starts this year in 2021. It's an odd season for everybody. And for Nashville, of course, not many non-conference opponents, but they have taken on all comers and certainly like to play a tough schedule outside of the River to River Mississippi. That said, of course, perfect play thus far. They're 9-0 in R2R Mississippi play this year. They all got started with a 58-36 win over AJ back on February the 9th. Keep in mind, they're in a different region than everybody else. They were in the Metro East region, so they got to start a week later. A week later than the, the teams in Region 5. Is that where we are? Either way, they got started a little bit later, a week later, as a matter of fact, and then rolled on a, on a road win with AJ and then a home thrashing of Sparta, if memory serves correctly. I believe that was a running clock game or, or close to it by the time the game was over. Beat up on Ducoin on the road, 65-36 uh, the final on that one. Some tight battles, of course, with Carterville, originally scheduled to be in February, and then Weather postponed that one to, I believe, this past Monday, as a matter of fact. Uh, ended up beating the Lions 62-46, to then had to turn around and play them last night, uh, keep in mind. A nice battle with the Pinckneyville Panthers in February, 39-32 the final in that one. They were all over Cahokia, mind you, 71-48. Beat Ducoin a second time, this time at home, 65-39. Another home win against AJ, 46-19. Uh, beat up on Sparta this past Tuesday night. I believe the final score in that one was 65-32. And then a closer battle with Carterville last night. But there's one I'm intentionally not talking about, and... Uh, the game, a game against Frankfurt's one that I was able to watch game film of this morning and just to see them execute. I know Frankfurt at that time was coming in struggling. Uh, I know Paxton Griffith was not at 100% in that one. Uh, but taking a look at what they were able to put together, a running clock victory, and in that one, just the way they were able to move the ball and they were able to get some of their JV guys in because it's a Nashville team that comes in probably about six, seven deep uh, on a regular basis. And for the Hornets under Wayne Hart, you know what you're going to get coming in with that philosophy and all of that good stuff as well. The Mountford and Rams, meanwhile, coming off of a tough loss last night on the road at Centralia. We'll talk about it coming up next on this Landers Towing and Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. 
Landers. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Do you have a minor illness or injury? Get quick care at SSM Health Express Clinics. With locations in Centralia and Mount Vernon, they offer quality medical care that works with your schedule. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 7 to 7, and Sunday, 8 to 2. The Express Clinic in Mount Vernon and the Primary Care in Centralia are COVID-19 drive through testing centers. To schedule an appointment, visit ssmhealth.com slash quickcare. There is still time to take classes this spring at Rin Lake College. Late start classes are eight weeks long beginning March 8th. You'll find several options that count toward a degree or certificate, like accounting and business, speech and English, music, healthcare, and more. Plus, Rin Lake offers truck driving sections and the full CNA nursing course that's tuition free for in district students. Head to rlc.edu slash eight week to learn more or call them at 437 5321. Late start classes March 8th at rlc.edu slash eight week. Your journey starts at Rin Lake College. College. Everyone is talking about the future these days. I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley. Let's work together so you own your future. All you need is the right plan to get you started, the kind of plan that will take into account all the things in life that matter most. I can work with you to put the pieces in place to help secure a comfortable tomorrow. No matter what stage of life you're in, now is the time to start developing a plan to own your future. Call 242-4024 or online at josh.finley at countryfinancial.com. Needing a new vehicle and looking for a hassle-free environment? Shop with Muck and Toyota in Mount Vernon. Family-owned since 1967, Muck can treat you like their own with transparency pricing and excellent service. They enjoy their job and helping you make a big life decision. Conveniently located on Highway 15. Stop by or visit MuckandToyotaMountVernon.com. From our family to yours, with guaranteed satisfaction, Muck is the one for you. Listen to the Rams on your smart speaker. Tell Alexa to enable WMIX. Then tell her to play WMIX whenever you want. Back to the game. About 11 minutes out from the start of this one tonight. The Mountford and Rams and the Nashville Hornets, 94.1 FM. And, of course, online on the Section 618 app with streaming video. And, of course, an audio-only stream if you just need a little bit more convenience to take us wherever you may be. The Rams come in tonight. Tough loss last night to the Central Orphans, 51-47. to The Rams led wire to wire for the most part. The Orphans did not lead, I believe, until it was 42-40 at one point in overtime. I don't have my fourth quarter score written down, of course. Uh, but in that one, the Rams played very well, all things considered. Of course, lost Carson Pro to a foul out in the fourth quarter, which made a huge difference in that one. But for the Rams, they're going to have to shake that off, and we'll talk about that coming up on these Monk and Toyota Buick GMC keys to the game. Muck and Toyota, MountVernon.com is where you can find the perfect vehicle. Log on and select Find My Car. Fill out the form. It's just a bunch of options as to what you're looking for, and they do all the looking for as long as you tell them. That's right. They won't stop until you tell them to quit at Muck and Toyota of Mount Vernon. Pretty well three keys tonight. There's usually three keys most nights. Really just three top topics that you have to stick to in order to win a ball game. But for the Rams, a little bit differently tonight. Definitely have to shake off last night. Last night obviously did not go their way, and, and so many calls late that did not go either way of, of either team that I know was very frustrating to both head coaches. But talking with a few people here tonight, a lot of frustration with a couple of no calls. One was when Kwani Rudd was trying to dribble drive from the right to get to the right block and get inside maybe for a jam or layup and uh, met a defender, and both, both ended up falling, and then the no call. Some may call that a good no call. Uh, but with the contact, some felt that there should have been a call one way or the other there. Another was when N.J. Benson late was going in, and, and you know both players hammered on the play, and then the ball trickles out of bounds. Again, a no call just goes. Uh, goes um, the possession, I believe, went to Centre. So plenty of things that the Rams coming in frustrated about from last night, you have to shake that off because basically you're getting a different version of what you had a night ago. You're getting a Nashville team. That'll come in with a suffocating defense. Of course, Wayne Harry, one of the better defensive coaches around, not unlike Lee Bennett. Uh, they're going to attack you. They're going to suffocate you, and they're going to frustrate the, the heck out of you. And that's something you're going to have to get past pretty quickly here tonight, which will lead to another key later. Going to have to execute tonight. The Rams obviously had a great game plan under Tim Holloway going in last night. Unfortunately, there were times that they just couldn't execute. Give a lot of credit to the defense of the Centralia switching man. Uh, which is very frustrating, but you're going to have that same frustrating type of defense tonight, 
and you're going to have to be able to execute in spite of that. This is a 10-0 team coming in. This is the matchup that many wanted to see coming in. And, of course, you know, this is a, a thing where, you know, you'll you'll hear Wayne Hari talk, whether it's on a, a sports program or just in person, that says, you know, probably, oh, we're not very good. We're good defensively, but we're just not very good. We can't score, which we all know, obviously, a tendency to sandbag there. A friend of the Saturday Sports Show for many a years was uh, Wayne Hari of the Nashville Hornets. But coming in, we know what we're going to get. You're going to see a team that's very fundamentally sound and can execute. So for the Rams, they're going to have to be that way as well. They're going to have to execute. Better shot selection and be able to make those shots at will tonight. We talked about another one that kind of related to the first key tonight, and that's demeanor. Cool heads. Uh, the heads didn't necessarily get away from the Rams last night. All things considered, cooler heads did prevail in that one, but this is a team that's going to get under your skin. It's a team that defensively is going to frustrate you, and you're going to have to keep a cool head and just, again, as relating to the number two key, just have to continue to execute in this one. Uh, as this Nashville team is very good. Again, 10-0 Nashville against 7-2 Mount Vernon all coming up here tonight for the Rams to win. They're going to have to do all of those things against the Hornets. Munkin Toyota Buick GMC, Munkin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Nissan, Munkin General Motors, of course, and Mount Vernon and Centralia are sponsors of our Keats to the game. And let Munkin Buick GMC show you how easy it is to buy a quality new or used car in Mount Vernon, the Munkin family believes fair prices, superior service, and treating customers right leads to satisfied repeat buyers. Munkin's the one. Thank you for tuning in thus far to our Landers Towing and Collision Center's pregame show. Landers Collision Center's iCar Gold Class certified technicians have what it takes to correctly diagnose the issue and get it fixed right the first time. Landers repairs all autos, semis, RVs, and motorhomes because big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one 8 Landers. Well, we've had a little unfortunate luck lately trying to get you the starting lineups of the past few games. Randy Olson, of course, the PA announcer. We know we'll get those here tonight. Uh, but let's give you the starting lineups for tonight's game. Anyway, sponsored by Hall Insurance Group. Don't waste your time. Let Hall Insurance Group do the shopping for you. Go to hallinsgroup.com and get a quote fast. That's hallinsgroup.com. For the Nashville Hornets, 10-0 coming in, champions of the river-to-river -river Mississippi. They are 9-0, guaranteed to win that conference. I believe still another one against Sparta or Pinckneyville, if memory serves correctly. Coming up for the Hornets, don't have the schedule in front of me. Um, they'll start number 10, Nolan Hegemeyer. Their lone senior also will run in the backcourt, number 14, Buzz Ritzel. So think about that. Nashville obviously loses Pelchinski and some key players, and they come back with one senior, still 10-0, a perfect season thus far, looking to get a big road win tonight, and only one senior in the lineup. Number 22, Saxton Hepker will get a start tonight for the Hornets. Number 23, Jason Goforth, which is a very popular name in Hornet basketball history. Jason or Jackson Goforth getting the start tonight. And then number 34, Isaac Turner, and he is a very versatile player for the Hornets getting a start here tonight on the road against the Mount Vernon Rams. For the Rams, meanwhile, you're not going to see much difference in the starting lineup tonight. They're 7-2 and two coming in under Tim Holloway here in 2021. Their only uh, blemish, really, has been a couple of times. The kryptonite that happens to be the Centralia Orphans, it would seem. And they will start number 2, Evan Leak. Number 3, Dylan Harkins. Number 10, Carson Pro. Number 24, your reigning Josh Finley, Country Financial Ram of the Week, Kwani Rudd. And number 35, N.J. Benson, who was an honorable mention for our Ram of the Week award this past week. Those starting lineups are presented by Hall Insurance Group. Let Hall Insurance Group shop for you. Call 244-7500 or go to hallinsgroup.com. That's hallinsgroup.com. Don't know if you've been to section618.com today or not, or if you've been uh, all over our social media. You know that the Rock and Rams dance team hasn't really been able to perform here in 2021. Uh, they haven't been able to go out on, in, in the half court and do their thing at halftime. However, uh, they were kind enough, and Mount Vernon Township High School kind enough to approach us saying, hey, what can we do? We have the Rock and Rams. We have three routines. We're not exactly sure what we're going to be able to do with them. And is there anything you all can do? And so, of course, we all put bra heads, brains, whatever body parts together to figure out that we can post them on social media and encourage you as you're watching our stream, if you're a Ram fan, to uh, go to our Facebook pages or go to section618.com. Under schools, you can click on Mount Vernon and find it that way as well. Uh, the third and final performance we have for the Rock and Rams is now uploaded. You can view that tonight. You can also you can view it any time for that matter. But at halftime tonight, if there's not a lot going on on the floor or you're watching and just want to feel like you're at Shagnon, 
this would be a great thing for you to kick on. Just play play the video, and you can see the Rock and Rams performance, and maybe get a taste of halftime at Shagnon Gymnasium. Again, that's on our social media pages at WMIX Sports at WMIX Radio, or find it on Section Six One Eight. Dot com. Another announcement that I was reminded of tonight, it's blackout night on Tuesday, and I know what you're thinking. Hugo, how's that going to work? We're not allowed to come to the gymnasium. Well, you're right, you're not, uh, but it is the FBLA blackout night on Tuesday night as the Marion Wildcats come to town. There are still some t-shirts available. You can see Julie Hayes here at Mount Vernon Township High School or log on to our social media pages yet again. Go to Facebook at WMIX Radio or at WMIX Sports. Find the information on how you can order a blackout T-shirt or, or get one of the ones that's still in stock. They have very few remaining. They did so, and this is very clever. Have to give them a lot of credit. They were they sold uh, cardboard cutouts of fans that will be around the gymnasium on Tuesday night when Marion comes to town, taking a page out of the pro and college playbook, and you have to appreciate it. Great fundraiser for the FBLA. That's the Future Business Leaders of America. And they even, uh, if you bought a T-shirt, you were automatically entered... When you order at the time, you're automatically entered in a drawing uh, for two tickets to come to Shagnon that night. So how cool is that? I mean, very, very good execution of a nice promotion for the Mount Vernon Township High School Future Business Leaders of America. Absolutely brilliant. They deserve a lot of credit uh, for that. Uh, forgot to tell you about our sponsor for the WMIX Sports, Josh Finley, Country Financial Ram of the Week Award. See Josh Finley at Country Financial. Learn more about protection for the things in your life that matter most and get started on a plan for a comfortable future. Contact Josh Finley today at Country Financial. I know what you're thinking, Hugo. You're rambling. Well, yes, I am. I'm trying to fill here. We, we took the air with about 11 minutes left on the clock between games. I had about 20 minutes of content. And we are about at the, according to my clock here, we're about at the 30-minute mark uh, of having been on the air. So it's great to be with you tonight nonetheless as we'll have the starting laps coming up over the public address here in just a moment. We still have the national anthem to come. Looks like the Hornets and the Rams, for those of you watching on Section 618 app and WMIXSports.com, they are finishing up their warm-ups here tonight. It's the Mount Vernon Rams, coached by Tim Holloway, and the Nashville Hornets, coached by Wayne Hari. Should be a good one tonight. We've all waited for it for a very long time. Not a lot of distance between the two schools, about 25 miles. Obviously, the class differential probably part of the reason they haven't played regularly, but uh, both good enough to play each other and have a competitive game uh, each year if they were to choose to do that in the future. Looks like we're going to have the National Anthem coming up. I'm Chris Hugo. Jake Linder will be alongside in just a moment. Zach Matt Miller with us in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Eli Eplin taking care of things back at the studio here tonight. We'll take a break and come back after the National Anthem. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports in the Section 618 app. If 2020 has taught us anything, it has taught us that there are things in this life you cannot predict or even imagine what happened. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt, and I want to offer a bit of encouragement to you and your family. My office spends our entire day helping people prepare for the unexpected and have the leading insurance company in the business backing us up. State Farm and my office may not be able to fix everything, but I am confident when it comes to protecting your car, your home, and your life, no one does it better. Come and see us in Mount Vernon, find us online at TonyWilt.com, or just find the Jeep. We're ready to help. Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't want to make a trip to the bank? With free mobile deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone and deposit it into your account anytime, from anywhere, all with pnb to go mobile banking. Deposits are as easy as tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the pnb to go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank, making it easy to bank from anywhere. Member FDIC. Wireless or service fees may apply. ADIS Technology, or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, is a network of sensors, cameras, modules, and programming that assist in driving and parking functions, including accident avoidance and self-driving functions. This is Chase Landers with Landers Towing and Collision Centers. Though the term ADIS may be new to many of us, it is frequently used throughout the automotive industry in today's leading headlines. What does this mean to you? There is a high probability that your vehicle is equipped with this evolving technology. And why is this important? If your vehicle is involved in an accident, it will be up to you to decide who is best equipped to handle your repairs. Landers Towing and Collision Centers have evolved alongside ADES technologies. Pre-repair and post-repair scanning, electronic guided measuring, ICAR certified technicians, and certified repair equipment able to handle the specific repairs required are just a few of the many advancements Landers has put into practice. Consider these factors the next time you're looking at a collision repair facility to care for your vehicle repairs and your loved ones who ride in them. Big or small, we tow and fix them all. Give us a call at 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. 
Back to the SSM Health Broadcast booth. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Ninety-four point one FM worldwide on the Section Six One Eight app tonight. Should be a good one. We have already met our Hall Insurance Group starting lives. We'll just recap them real quick. I'm, it's a pet peeve of mine to say them more than once, but in case you missed it, here are the starting lineups tonight. Nolan Hegemeyer getting a start. Buzz Ritzel, the lone senior for the Hornets, wears number 14. They're in their away blue with white and red trim. Saxon Hepker getting a start. Jackson Gopher, thanks to uh, Danny Sarwinski for pointing out, a son of Jason who was on the 92 team. Mount Vernon fans may remember one of their former sons, C.J. Cruiser, was on that team as well. He went on to coach at Waterloo, of course, after serving as a longtime assistant for Nashville. Uh, but, yeah, Jackson Goforth in the starting lineup tonight. Isaac Turner also a starter tonight for Wayne Harry and the Hornets. For the Mount Vernon Rams, it's Evan Leak, Dylan Harkins, Carson Pro, Kwani Rudd, and N.J. Benson starting tonight. Home white clad uniforms with black trim, orange numerics, and lettering trimmed in black. Got a couple of road warriors tonight. Joining me now, or here in just a moment when he uh, gets here, is Jake Linder, of course. He had the call of Woodlawn and Pinckneyville today. D.C. feeding me some info. I know he has the call of Benton at Harrisburg tonight. Uh, just got done calling a girls game at Rich Heron Gymnasium. As the Ben Range Reds beat up on the Anna Jonesboro Lady Cats today. And we'll talk about that on our next Tony Wilde State Farm scoreboard. Top of the hour, close enough. This is WMIX-FM Mount Vernon. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. We are now underway. Thanks to those of you who tuned in to our Landers Towing and Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight. Landers off of the right wing. Hegemeyer with the basketball. Launches a three for the early lead. It's no good. Backdoor rebound will go to Kwani Rudd. 15 seconds in, Rams with the basketball. There's NJ from the left side. Pulls up a shot mid-post. It's no good. Backdoor rebound for Buzz Ritzel. Again, the lone senior in Wayne Harry's lineup tonight. Step top of the key through left side for Hepker. Back up top for Goforth. Leaves it for Turner. Very versatile player is Isaac Turner. Now at the free throw line is Ritzel looking to the outside for Hegemeyer. Right hand dribble for Turner to the right wing. Now throwing over into the corner. Back to the wing for Turner. Left wing here for Hepker. Dribble drive. Oh, kicks out from the free throw line. They spin it all the way around to the far corner before going left wing to Witzel. Back up top to Turner. Rams not letting them pass the perimeter here. A minute in. No score thus far between these two star-studded lineups. Nice dribble drive on a diagonal cut. Left block layup is there for Isaac Turner, and he gives the Hornets an early 2-0 lead. We're a minute nine in. All the action presented by Holzauer Auto and Motorsports Group in Nashville. Southern Illinois' number one volume dealer. Harkins looking for the bound, backdoor bounce pass, I should say, to Kwani Rudd. Nothing there. The Rams turn it over, and into the front court goes Ritzel. Underneath. Ooh, nice shot, but it's blocked by Rudd. Saves it from going out of bounds. Thought that was going to be a Ram basketball inbound. Instead, it's going to be a coast-to-coast -coast layup, but no good. That was Leak. Benson tried to clean it up with a flush, and the Hornets take the defensive board the other way. 6.20 left to go on the first. Chris Hugo, Jake Linder with you, Zach Matt Miller with us in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Eli Eplin back at the Mount Vernon studio. SSMHealth.com slash doctors. SSM Health, the healing power of presence. Of course, that website helps you find your next physician. I'll tell you what, Isaac Turner doesn't need a shot doctor by any means. That was a great three-pointer from the left arc, and it's five zip Hornets. Well, you've done such a good job. I hate to kind of stop the marathon. Been through this song and dance before. <laughs> you've done really well. I listened all the way from Pickneyville. Oh, our post game turned into a pregame. And now <laughs> Benson underneath was left block. Use his body that time. He's never shy to use that body, that big frame. And he cuts it to 5-2. to two. It's a possession game. The end one coming at the free throw line. No, you know, no surprise. Good pace. Good start to this one. Good shots, good looks, good everything for these two good teams. And uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I've been excited for this one all day. Free throw good. 5-3. to three. It's a two-point game. 5.45 mark here in the first quarter. Video streaming presented by Red Lake College with more than 100 degree and certificate programs. Red Lake College has something for everyone. Learn more at rlc.edu. Ritzel coming from a curl. Left block layup not there. High rebound for Kwani. Right into the front court for the Rams. Nashville will beat you up defensively, and out of the top, they escape to Pro. He has a mid-post hook. No good. Rebound taken away by Ritzel and the Hornets as they try to sting the Rams here at home. Rams a disappointing loss last night on the road at Centralia. They fall to 7-2. Nashville, meanwhile, undefeated. We talked about a conference game remaining for the Hornets. 
That is against Pinckneyville coming up. Like I said, Pinckneyville or Sparta. Not sure really how you confuse the two, but didn't have the schedule in front of me. Ritzel off of the right wing. Cross for dribble under the five-minute mark here. Next dead ball is a mask timeout as Turner fights for position. Slides baseline but misses a shot. Throw the rebound into the front court. If you've been hurt on the job, call Hannigan and McGovern at 618-241-9251. Rudd trying to make it hurt and... Thought he was going to keep that and try to slide into a shot. Instead, it's uh, thrown away out of bounds. Turnover, Mount Vernon. Trying to go to Leak on the wing. A little miscommunication zig instead of zag, and he threw it behind Leak. And, of course, this puts us at our first mask timeout in this first quarter. Wayne are burning a timeout, but it really should be a mask timeout. Oh, well, okay. Let's see what they do. We'll see what they do on the scoreboard. This time out, either way, presented by First Mid Bank and Trust, where you can count on familiar faces, providing friendly banking service. Stop by First Mid at the corner of South 34th and Broadway. Talk with Michelle, Shelley, and the entire First Mid team today. It's 5-3, to three, Nashville. The Hornets on top over your Mount Vernon Rams. It's a two-point game here midway through the first, or near, near the midway point. <laughs> Getting right into it. But, uh, yeah, this was a team, Nashville, that... Um, they could easily be very upset about everything that's gone on this year. They were a team that they were looking to make a long, deep run in the postseason, uh, both football, both basketball, I mean, everything for the, for that matter. Um, and it was it was really honestly kind of a shame that uh, we don't get to see what they'll do heading into the postseason. You know, they've got a few, a, a couple seniors in the lineup. So luckily, I say luckily, but you know what I mean. You know, they, they're a little bit younger as are, you know, teams like the Rams and the Lady Rams, you know, teams that um, heading into the year everybody was excited to watch and see what they could do. You kind of you count your blessings that at least you get next year for some, but you do have to kind of feel bad for some of these seniors because could have been fun to watch these guys down the stretch. I mean, we would have been, what, sectional time for, for Nashville at this point in the year, I think? Some believe they would have won a sectional title last night. Yeah, exactly, so... Inbound in the backcourt, Nashville with the basketball. Hornets are blue clad tonight with red and white trim, and now a runner in the paint just shy of the free throw line for Turner. It's no good. Rebound of Plinko around to the timeline, and it's recovered by Ritzel. Kicks to the outside, Heckemeyer to the left wing here for Goforth. Dribbles to the elbow, throws it up top. Hepker with the basketball, throws left wing now for Ritzel. Back to the right arc. Goforth. Off the left wing, three on the way, in and out, no good by Ritzel. Rebound will go to N.J. Benson. Rams are down just two. We've made it sound like they're down quite a bit, but it can feel that way against a Kochari-led team as we're at the midway point of the first quarter officially, 5-3, to three, Nash Vegas. Just got to be careful not to watch the paint dry whenever you're playing a team like Nashville. Backdoor lob for an alley-oop, not there. It's off the bottom of the backboard, and Nashville will go the other way with it. What I mean by that is stop watching their jerseys and play the ball, play the, ball, play the man, that kind of thing. Kick to the outside, Ritzel out of the corner, right hand dribble, gives up to the wing, Isaac Turner three on the way, it's going to rattle off, rebound to the weak side for Kwani Rudd, glides into the front court, uses that body and leaves a shot off the back of the iron, nobody there for the rebound, but Buzz Ritzel into the front court, throws to the right corner, go forth looking to the top, Wayne Hari not happy. I think he wanted a post touch there before that. Skip a <laughs> pass to the outside. Three's no good. Rebound the other way for the Rams. They have out rebounded the Hornets, it feels like, but that's just what it feels like. That's not necessarily first I have knowledge. them at 6-4 to four in favor of Mount Vernon. Off the left wing, this is Leak looking for pro. Carson with the basketball. We drop below the three-minute mark here in the first. We had an extensive pregame show. Tony Wilt scoreboard update. We'll give you some scores throughout the evening. Pro, ball fake off of the mid post, throws it back to the outside for Harkins. Harkins going to give it right back to Carson. Left hand dribble off of the right wing. Carson Pro with the basketball. Now will practically hand off to Rudd. He tries to curl around, travels with the basketball. Turnover Mount Vernon. For all your real estate needs, see Pam Kirkpatrick at Coldwell Banker. She and her staff are there to help you seven days a week, serving the Mount Vernon area since 1986. Two thirty-three left in the first quarter. Five to three score. That much hasn't really changed over the past few minutes. To start out, I believe five zero, and then Benson a layup and one, cut it to two. Ritzel up top, easy three on the way. It's good. Can't let that happen. Can't let set shooters set and shoot. It's pretty simple. Eight three. 
Hornets on top. Rams with the basketball. 2.07 mark of the first quarter. Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports Group in Nashville. Shop a multitude of their vehicles at Holzhauer's.com. Slipping into the paint was Evan Leak, but the Rams travel and turn it over. I mean, it was a very exaggerated jump stop. He might have slipped his foot just a tad bit. He kind of looked up like, wait a minute, I didn't go anywhere, but uh, got yeah, to be careful. A little slip and slide action underneath the basket. Ritzel to the right wing. At the free throw line, he'll stop. Kicks it to the outside. Heckemeyer looks for Turner. Now back to the top for Ritzel. Hornets have one of the more intense coaching staffs. I love it. Turnaround coming off the block. Swatted away by Benson. It's recovered on the rebound by Leak. Into the front court go the Rams. Minute 37 to go in the first. 8-3 to three is the Hornet lead. As Leak spin move in the paint. Layup short. Put back by Benson. Not there. Rebound is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Colton Gajewski. It'll be Malford in basketball. You talk about the intensity of the coaching staff. I mean, that's how you win ball games, though. That's how you establish a program. You got coaches that you fear how much you respect them in a way. And that's just how you establish things. It's the way it's always been. Off of the right arc, this is Harkins with the left-hand dribble. Backs it up beyond the perimeter. Minute 20 left to go on the first. Chris Hugo, Jake Linder alongside in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Harkins, one of our previous winners of the Josh Finley kind of financial ram of the week. How this guy hasn't been one yet is beyond me as NJ Benson, Benson flushes another. It's 8-5. to five. I think he keeps seeing that you ain't picking him, and so he's <laughs> trying to prove that he, he deserves it because he does. I, he was a lock when he scored 32 at outs off after 23 in the first half, and then Kwani had something to say about it the later two games of the week. Back to a possession game with less than a minute to play in the first. 48 seconds to go, as a matter of fact. Is up top is Isaac Turner with the basketball, swinging around to the left wing for Buzz Ritzel. You know, there, well, there's a, there's a lot of basketball bodies on Nashville, and what I mean by that is long, lanky, tall, that sort of thing. But nobody really has the frame of, well, Evan Leak for one. He's got a football body. And then N.J. Benson just has a basketball body. But he's also, he's got the upper body. He's got the strength. He's got the size, as we just saw with that two-handed jam. Easy play here, Hagemeyer. It's shots blocked by Benson. He slid to the right block, got the lob pass, but couldn't finish. Rams had the basketball and a chance to maybe tie. Down three, eight to five, 11 seconds left in the first. It's Carson Pro in front of the scorer's table. They miss a screen there near the top of the key. We'll have a push off. We'll see if they catch it or if it's going to be a foul on Nashville with 4.6. I think they're going to put it on Buzz Ritzel, Carson Pro. They were both battling, so it could have gone either way. Rams with a chance to tie it or bring it within one. It's a quick play in to Kwani. Out of the corner, he'll try to drive baseline. Loses it off a foot out of bounds. Turnover Mount Vernon with 2.6 seconds. We talk about the fundamentals and Wayne Hari, but Tim Holloway, just in his first year, one of the more fundamentally sound coaches regardless of sport. Quick throw into the front court. Nashville not get a shot off. Good play by Kwani Rudd. He suffocated Colton Gajewski, and we'll go to the second quarter. After one, the Nashville Hornets eight, the Mount Vernon Rams five. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Where's your playground? This is where it's at. The end of the road is where the real fun begins during the Jeep celebration event at Holtzhauer's in Nashville, Illinois. Oh, and the adventure begins again. Adventure's never out of reach. Make memories with every mud pit and rocky terrain. Oh! Earn that post-trip car wash. Jeep hair. Don't care. Let's start your new Jeep life at Holtzhauer's Auto and Motorsports in Nashville, Illinois. Where's your playground? When you have a new Jeep, it's anywhere you want. Do you have a minor illness or injury? Get quick care at SSM Health Express Clinics. With locations in Centralia and Mount Vernon, they offer quality medical care that works with your schedule. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 7 to 7, and Sunday, 8 to 2. The Express Clinic in Mount Vernon and the primary care in Centralia are COVID-19 drive through testing centers. To schedule an appointment, visit ssmhealth.com slash quickcare. Streaming worldwide on the Section 618 app, this is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. 8-5 to five Nashville as we head to the second quarter here from Shagnon Gymnasium in the SSM Health Broadcast booth. I'm Chris Hugo, Jake Linder alongside. It's a kick to Benson inside and from the mid-post. He adds to his legend tonight. Rams down one now, 8-7, to seven, and Benson has all seven for the King City. He's looking good. That's... They went away from him last night at Centralia whenever he was really putting it on 
the orphans. He wasn't getting a few calls his way, but I think they should have stuck with him. I think they're going to try and do that here tonight. Go forth, shook his man, and he'll have to outlet to Ritzel. Drives free throw line, nothing there. Kicks to the outside. Turner thought about a three. Sidesteps the defender, but throws it back out. Hepker now drives. Nope, kicks it back out. Turner back to Hepker. Up top they had go forth. Instead they'll look. No, they're not going to look framed by. They give it back to Turner. 7.13 left in the half. We'll have your Crossroads Community Hospital halftime show coming at the break as this will be a mid-post jumper. Good look for Turner. Benson able to keep his fingers off of it to avoid the goaltending. The Rams get the defensive board going the other way. Left wing leak to the right wing for Harkins. Over to the far sideline for Carson Pro. Nice skip pass over to Leak. Defense quick to catch up and close distance. 17-footer from Kwani will rattle off the back of the iron and we'll have a foul on the rebound. They call it against Leak. Bean Insurance is providing solutions with a unique experience and knowledge. Get a quote today at beaninsurance.net. Eight seven Nashville on top. Hornets have the basketball into the front court with a left hand dribble off of the wing now. This will be Hepker to the top. Hegemeyer back to the outside for Turner. Ritzel coming around, curls. Ooh, hands off on the right wing to go for it. And now it's hit by Pro. Turns into a steal and a right block layup, but it's short. Rebound the other way to the Hornets. This will be Turner driving and kicking. Not sure who it was intended for, but coming up with it is go forth. Gives it back to Ritzel at the volleyball line with a right hand dribble to the far side. Make that the near sideline. And now keeps himself, shakes his defender. He'll be stripped hard, and that'll be a foul on Carson Pro. If you need a career change, Red Lake College offers dozens of programs focused on putting you in a new job in as little as a year. Find them more on rlc.edu. Your journey starts at Red Lake College. All over social media at WMIX Sports as Ritzel is at the line. Misses the first. He'll have another. He has three points in the night. He'll look for number four here with a 6.02 mark of the second quarter. Staring right back at him on the scoreboard. Second free throw. Good. Make it 9-7 Hornets. Between the circles. Ooh, this is Rudd. Nice move by Quan to the basket. It's going to be off the backboard, and that's a great rebound by Goforth, but he falls out of bounds with it. It'll stay with the Rams. Quan, he's, um, he's being the aggressor. and last couple of games, he hasn't gotten things called his way. Um, I'm not saying every single time he's taken it in, it should have been a foul, but there has been plenty that I felt like he got hit on, and he could be making a bigger difference if he could get a few things to just roll his way. Up top, it's Leak. Back to the right wing for Kwani Rudd. left hand dribble near the top. To the left wing now for Pro. Looks just to the outside of the paint for Benson. Trying to turn around his defender. Steps baseline. Leans in for the shot. It's no good. Late foul call on the Hornets. I don't know. That's when you blow the whistle instantly if it's me. I, that just seemed like a... I know, I know he was slapped, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, honestly, they, you could look at it from the other angle, too. I mean, he was off balance. He was under the basket. He was, at this point, that foul kind of bails him out. Yeah. You know, at the That's same where time. I'm at. Pretty good defense, you know, for, for Nashville. They could have easily gone nothing there as well. So Exactly. I think if you're in jail, <laughs> you'll take the free throws. He made them both. He has all nine for the Rams. We're tied at nine. 5.30 mark here the first half. Reading some information being sent my way. 5.20 left to go, second quarter. Left wing, this is number 34, Turner. Leaves it for Ritzel. Holes Hour Auto Motorsports Group in Nashville. Shop a multitude of their vehicles online at holeshours.com. Five minutes left in the half, and we'll have a timeout, Wayne Hari. It is presented by First Mid Bank and Trust. Your one-stop financial resource. In addition to banking services, First Mid also offers wealth management, insurance, and ag services. Plan, save, protect with first mid. We're tied at Niner with 5.07 left in the second quarter. I feel like Coach Hari could feel things slipping away from him a little bit. Wanted to call a timeout because they weren't really doing anything. You know, you're just kind of standing, you're running your offense, but you're not getting anywhere with it. There's always got to be a goal in mind. So let's come together. Let's ask a couple of questions. Let's make sure we get a timeout before the timeout um, that we'll get automatically. And let's get a bucket before we get to that dead ball as well. And if you're the Rams, hey, you can keep running around the outside if you want. 
You can keep throwing it around there and just run your offense. We'll play defense all night long. 5.07 to go in the first half, tied at 9. Ritzel across the timeline, right at the circle, now to the arc for Hegemeyer, looking inside. Nice move by Goforth to the basket, missed it though, rebound will go to Benson. Here come the Rams, into the front court, this is Harkins. Between the leg dribble, now up top, gets a nice screen from Rudd, throws it to the outside for Pro. 447 left in the second quarter. Pro now comes around to the near mid post, kicks it back out, Kwani thought about it, now skips to Pro for three. You betcha, 12-9. I, I was kind of in my head saying, what are you doing, Kwani? Pull that thing, and then he got it to pro, and pro just in a natural rhythm. Smooth jumper, rams up on this one. Somebody first scoring just other than NJ. Absolutely. That's what the Rams need. They need pro. Gajewski coming around to the top, to the right wing, go forth, looking inside, nothing there. Going to hand off to Ritzel between the circles with 4-12 left in the second quarter. Crossroads Community Hospital halftime show coming at the break. We'll recap the first two quarters of play. Ritzel off of the wing. It's a screen up top. Battles back into the paint. Jump stop. Kicks underneath. Baseline reverse layup. It's good. Great play. Colton Gajewski, right place, right time. And it is 12-11. Back within one or the Hornets. Yeah, he did a really nice job using the rim as an extra defender to go up with that one and uh, finish on the other side. Off of the block. Coming out to get it is Benson. Looking around. Ooh, kicks it to the outside for a Harkins. Three. Good. Big three for Harkins. It's 15-11. Rams by four. Their largest lead of the night, obviously. They haven't led much. Really nice. Whenever you see the Rams offense kind of come together after some struggles on the offensive end last night, trying to figure things out against tough defense. Not that it ain't been tough here tonight, but it's nice to see them flow well. Coming off at the top, here's a dribble drive, but Turner will kick it out to Ritzel. Turner gets it right back off of the right wing. 3-10 mark of the first half. 15-11 score, and let's see here. Wood flooring can add luxury and value to a home. Southern Illinois Tile and Carpet Supply in Mount Vernon has an amazing selection of traditional, distressed, sculpted, even reclaimed wood, all at exceptional prices. We're going to have a timeout. That's going to be two on Carson. Got in a little foul trouble early last night at Trout, but... Uh, Overall, Tyler Lyde coming in. He did a nice job on some of those guards last night. He's got a good matchup um, against Hegemeyer here tonight. So I think that's who he'll probably be guarding for the most part. They're, they're, they're sized well together. So you're not, really, um, you're not really losing much in the way of defense whenever you bring Tyler Lyde in. He's going he's gonna to be hectic up top there with Leak and Harkins. Life is full of new steps, and First Mint Bank and Trust, Trust can help you make every step your best. Whether you're going to college, buying a home, starting a business, or planning for retirement, First Mint can help you get there. Learn more at firstmid.com. 3.08 left in the second quarter, 15-11 Rams on top, and it was all Nashville in the first, 8-5, to five, and the Rams have certainly come on strong, lim limiting the Hornets to just a field goal on a, I, I don't want to call it a lucky uh, reverse layup on the baseline, but that was right place, right time for Gajewski. Great play, but that's the only field goal of the quarter for Nashville. Yeah, I mean, he earned the bucket, and that's kind of how you got to look at it. You know, he earned where he was on the floor, and he earned the, the good look from his teammates. So other than that, Rams have done a nice job on the defensive end. 3.08 left in the first half. 15-11 out of a box set inbound for Ritzel and to Hegemeyer. He leaves it for Turner. Slipping it to the left side for Gajewski. Nice no-look pass to the wing here for Ritzel. Dribble drive, elbow, spin move in the paint. Right-hand layup. Oh, just misses. Would have been a great shot. The rebound the other way. It's the Rams. It's Harkins into the front court with that blazing speed. Off of the right arc. Looks inside. Throws to the corner for Kwani. It's Rudd with the basketball. Left-hand dribble. Deep right wing. 245 mark of this first half. It's a 15-11 Ram lead. Lyde off the left wing to the free throw line. Uh-oh, lob inside, turns into a layup try, but it's no good. That was Rudd looking for Benson, and this will go the other way on the Nash Vegas rebound. Check in with the Tony Wilt scoreboard as soon as we can. Contact your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. Having a local agent matters for your insurance. His State Farm team here to help. With it up top is Ritzel. Looks for Turner, comes around, beats his man, kicks out, wide open Hegemeyer, three would be huge, it's good. It's 15-14, one point game. Great drive, kick, look, and finish there from Hegemeyer and the Hornets. Two minutes left in the half, 15-14, we have a one point game in Shagnon. 
A little bit lower scoring, kind of what we figured we'd see. Off his screen, Harkin step back, top of the key, looking for Lydae, gives it to Rudd, right wing. Yeah, but great pace. I mean, only three team fouls each. So that means we're not stopping a lot. There's only been a couple timeouts because the flow's been so good. Kwani battling defenders high off the glass and no good. Get quick care for you and your family at SSM Healthcare Clinics. It's wellness that works with your schedule in Mount Vernon. As that was a pocket pick by Lee. Pick the pocket of Isaac Turner, I believe, in the pain, and it's out of bounds, I believe, off of the ramps. Carson Pro will come back in for Tyler Lyde. He'll play the last minute and a half. Maybe go offense to defense if there's another dead ball. We'll see how Coach Holloway plays it off. Minute 30 left in the second. 15-14. Hornets with the basketball and a chance to take the lead, or reclaim the lead, I should say. They had it for most of the first quarter early in the second. Turner, deep left wing against Leak. Finds Ritzel against Harkins. Now to the tens battling each other. Hegemeyer and Pro as Gajewski throws up top now for number 23, go for it. He'll hand off to Ritzel with a minute eight. Wouldn't be surprised at all if they wait for a final shot, but also wouldn't be surprised if they go after it here pretty quickly. I think whatever comes first, whether that's a buzzer or a layup or a kick and, or a driving kick maybe, I think that's what they're looking for. Turner on the left wing, throwing right arc. They're not going to be greedy. 15-14 battle here. Nashville with the basketball trailing by one. Off the right block. In trouble is Ritzel kicking it to the top for Hegemeyer. Right of the circle. Now a wide open Ritzel. Slip, sl he slipped his men and misses a three. Thought he was going to make that wide open triple. And now the Rams get another defensive rebound. Half minute to play here in the second quarter. This action presented by Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports in Nashville. Holzhauer's.com to do your shopping online. Huge possession for the Rams. I mean, you're up one. You can extend it to a couple of possessions here before the half. You really like where you were defensively. Your offense is flowing pretty good. Huge seven seconds. Harkin's going to try to attack. He's at the elbow with four. Gives off to Pro with three. On the way. Good. Three with three. And as time expires before the inbound, the Rams will lead this here at the half. Mount Vernon Rams 18, Nashville Hornets 14. It's halftime in the King City. We'll come back with your Crossroads Community Hospital halftime show. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. There is still time to take classes this spring at Rin Lake College. Late start classes are eight weeks long beginning March 8th. You'll find several options that count toward a degree or certificate, like accounting and business, speech and English, music, healthcare, and more. Plus, Rin Lake offers truck driving sections and the full CNA nursing course that's tuition free for in district students. Head to rlc.edu slash eight week to learn more or call them at 437 5321. Late start classes March 8th at rlc.edu slash eight week. Your journey starts at Rin Lake College. College. ADIS Technology, or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, is a network of sensors, cameras, modules, and programming that assist in driving and parking functions, including accident avoidance and self-driving functions. This is Chase Landers with Landers Towing and Collision Centers. Though the term ADIS may be new to many of us, it is frequently used throughout the automotive industry in today's leading headlines. What does this mean to you? There is a high probability that your vehicle is equipped with this evolving technology. And why is this important? If your vehicle is involved in an accident, it will be up to you to decide who is best equipped to handle your repairs. Landers Towing and Collision Centers have evolved alongside ADES technologies. Pre-repair and post-repair scanning, electronic guided measuring, ICAR certified technicians, and certified repair equipment able to handle the specific repairs required are just a few of the many advancements Landers has put into practice. Consider these factors the next time you're looking at a collision repair facility to care for your vehicle repairs and your loved ones who ride in them. Big or small, we tow and fix them all. Give us a call at 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac in Mount Vernon, Illinois, has the number one collision center in the area. They work on all makes and models and are rated top in customer satisfaction. Their highly trained technicians use only the highest quality paint and supplies, providing you with the top-notch repairs you deserve. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Collision Center offers direct repair for most major insurers, saving you time and offering convenience. Schedule your appointment today at SchmidtChevrolet.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Crossroads Community Hospital halftime show starts now. Halftime here in the King City. The Mount Vernon Rams lead the Nashville Hornets 18-14 at the break. I'm Chris Hugo, Jake Linder alongside for this Crossroads Community Hospital halftime show. Don't forget, you missed your chance today, but that's okay. 
Crossroads Community Hospital's Family Medicine, proud supporter of student-athletes you may know. They accept walk-in patients on Saturdays from 8 until 4. You can see Ryan Lane, who will help get you back on the road to better. Jake, pretty interesting first half. Rams trailed 8-5 to five after one, come back with a good second quarter. Now they lead at 18-14. Well, I just I came to the realization uh, that we're at halftime. Uh, there's such such good flow. It's great whenever basketball flows the way that it should. Uh, only uh, three or four team fouls apiece in the first half, so you know things are flowing well. You know the calls are, are being just fine. Everything is rolling the way that it should. And both teams, nothing to complain about. Really nothing uh, from either team that was outstandingly bad for them in the in the first half you know if anything the Rams defense was a little bit better um, a few layups on this end for the Rams that they probably feel like should have fell but there was also contact on them laying so you know their argument might be that well I got hit on a few of them so there it is for that for the Hornets boy they just um, they looked really good in that first quarter and they they did a little bit too much standing around I feel like in the second quarter I'm sure that'll be talked about in the uh, halftime break but overall it's wild that we're barely <laughs> 25 minutes into this, and we're already at halftime. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have scoring and stats of this one. This is your Crossroads Community Hospital halftime show. 1814, Mountford and Rams at the break. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Where's your playground? The end of the road is where the real fun begins. During the Jeep Celebration event at Hulse Hours in Nashville, Illinois. Adventure is never out of reach. All right, all right. Make memories with every mud pit in rocky terrain. Earn that post-trip car wash. Jeep hair don't care. Let's start your new Jeep life at Hulse Hours Auto and Motorsports in Nashville, Illinois. It'd be real cool if you did. Where's your playground? When you have a new Jeep, it's anywhere you want. Jeep hair don't care. Okay, let's log in and look for insurance. Okay, no, click here. Okay, no, not that. What? That's not affordable. Now, now where are you taking me? One eternity later. I've been sitting here so long looking for insurance. I think I entered a new age group. Stop. Just one call to Hall Insurance in Mount Vernon is all you have to do. Go to hallinsgroup.com or call 244-7500. Hall Insurance Group at 10th and Main in Mount Vernon. Here Here's your orthopedic center of Southern Illinois, MBT. Kayla Kraft, chorus and band teacher for Christopher Elementary and High Schools. Her nominee calls her one of a kind, dedicating herself to finding engaging and educational ways to reach students of all ages. Nominate your most valuable teacher at section618.com. MVT is brought to you by Ren Lake College, Monk and Toyota, Madari Care Tenders, H&S Tree Service, Cafe Bloom, and Tony Wilk State Farm. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Mulhern, an orthopedic surgeon at Crossroads Orthopedic Clinic. I'm excited to join Dr. McIntosh and Justin Northcutt to help provide orthopedic services to Mount Vernon and the surrounding areas. From knee and hip replacements to sports injuries and broken bones, Crossroads Orthopedic Clinic is here to get you back on the road to better. Give us a call at 618-244-9038. That number again is 618-244-9038. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in the office. Watch the Rams in stunning high definition at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Rin Lake College. 94.1 FM worldwide on the Section 618 app tonight. The Mountford and Rams an 18-14 lead over the Nashville Hornets here at the half. Crossroads Community Hospital sponsors our halftime show. And, of course, they're proud to support the student-athletes of Mountford and Township High School. See Dr. McIntosh and Dr. Mulhern from the Crossroads Orthopedic Clinic here to help take you to the next step for better hips, knees, shoulders, and more. All of that, I'm sure, all those body functions involved in the scoring and stats. Yeah, it, t- it takes everything I got just to pay attention to make sure I get everything uh, done correctly. For the uh, Nashville Hornets here tonight as we take a look at the numbers for them, uh, they put a few different guys in the scoring column. Isaac Turner had five, four points for Buzz Ritzel. Nolan Hegemeyer had three, and Colton Gajewski with two. They are three of seven from behind the arc for 43%, two of seven from inside the arc at a 28% clip, which is kind of wild to think that they are shooting better from behind the arc than they are inside uh, because of how physical they will play. But... I mean, give credit where credit's due. When you got Kwani Rudd and N.J. Benson on the inside, that's going to change things a little bit for you. 5 of 14 overall for a 36% clip, 1 of 2 from the line. Not a lot of free throws shot here tonight. Everything's been pretty clean. Six defensive rebounds, uh, one offensive for a total of seven. I have them down for only just a couple of 
turnovers for the Mount Vernon Rams here in this one. They have N.J. Benson, who at one point had all the points. He had nine points for the Rams, and he also put it, pulled, out, pulled down five rebounds for Mount Vernon. He's followed up closely by Carson Pro, who has six. Dylan Harkins has three here in this one, and surprisingly, despite all the good shots that he's taken, Kwani Rudd doesn't have any in the first half. They've out-rebounded Nashville with their 12 boards, two of them being offensive. They are three from three from the line. That is a very important factor to have here in this ballgame when you're playing a team like this because you know they're going to be efficient from the line as well, and they're going to make you pay down the stretch. So make them early and make them often. They're also, Rams are, three of three from behind the arc, three of 14 from inside, six of 17 overall for a 35% clip. That brings you the total numbers at the half, 18 for the Rams, 14 for the Hornets, they lead Nashville here in this one. Crossroads Community Halftime Show will continue in a moment. It's 18-14, Rams after two. This is Mount Vernon Basketball from WMIX Sports in the Section 618 app. Everyone is talking about the future these days. I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley. Let's work together so you own your future. All you need is the right plan to get you started, the kind of plan that will take into account all the things in life that matter most. I can work with you to put the pieces in place to help secure a comfortable tomorrow. No matter what stage of life you're in, now is the time to start developing a plan to own your future. Call 242-4024 or online at josh.finley at countryfinancial.com. There is still time to take classes this spring at Rin Lake College. Late start classes are eight weeks long beginning March 8th. You'll find several options that count toward a degree or certificate, like accounting and business, speech and English, music, healthcare, and more. Plus, Rin Lake offers truck driving sections at the full CNA nursing course. That's tuition free for in-district students. Head to rlc.edu slash eight week to learn more or call them at 437-5321. Late start classes March 8th at rlc.edu slash eight week. Your journey starts at Rin Lake College. Follow us on social media at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. 94.1 FM online on the Section 618 app. The Mount Vernon Rams lead here at the half, 18-14 to 14 over the Nashville Hornets. Crossroads Orthopedic Clinic in Mount Vernon. Proud to support the student-athletes at Mount Vernon Township High School. Dr. McIntosh and Dr. Mulhern from Crossroads Orthopedic Clinic here to help you take the next step for better hips, knees, Shoulders, and more. Just want to give a special shout out to uh, Jim Shirts. Uh, very nice post from him on Facebook earlier today. Um, we miss him and Grandma Paralee at all these Absolutely. games, of course, all the time. Uh, but him to take you know a little time out of his day to kind of give us a special shout out for you know some of the work that we've done this year. As much as we love doing it, it doesn't feel like work sometimes. It is nice to be appreciated. So I, but you know, appreciate that from old Jim. He does a. He does a fine job. You know, we do work with him for the Kiwanis stuff and everything like that. So appreciate that. Absolutely. I echo those sentiments. Saw the post earlier, commented on it, and it was very much appreciated. We mentioned both Jim. We talk about Grandma Paralee all the time. We right. almost never talk about Jim, unfortunately. Not on purpose. I think he's used to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> sure. I'm sure. But Ritzel missed a jumper earlier, and the rebound went out of bounds, and the Rams had the basketball. And Kwani gets his first quality look of the night. He has his first points. It's 20-14. to 14. The Ram lead stretches to six. Largest lead of the night, 30 seconds into this third quarter. The action presented by Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports Group in Nashville. Log on to Holzhauer's.com to shop a multitude of vehicles. Up top, it's Ritzel. Blue clad are the Hornets with white and red trim, white lettering and numerics. Trimmed in red on these Under Armour uniforms. Off of the right wing. And stepping back, Ritzel will get the basketball. And now Kwani intercepts on a pass intended for Hepker. Kwani going to go one-on-one -on -one with Ritzel. Great defense by Ritzel. Kwani's foot's on the line. I don't know if they've seen it or not. They'll call the jump ball. Rams get a break. Yeah, cool. much better take from uh, Kwani. He kind of almost waited for too much of the contact on his first few takes as they go inside to NJ. Kicks up top to Rudd. Three on the way. Good. 23-14 as Rudd gets a three. He has all five in the quarter for both teams. But he just kind of almost waited for the contact a couple of times, but he did a nice job on this end with that first bucketed thing. And then he was aggressive on the defensive end, basically just ripped the ball out of the air one-handed. And uh, then, of course, right there, nailing that three from the top of the arc. Hegemeyer into the corner for Hepker. To the left wing, he'll throw to the top now for Turner. He'll pop for a contested three. It's strong off the back of the iron rebound to Harkins. Dylan at the high disadvantage, but came away with the rebound. 6.20 left in the third. 
He'll step right wing. Nice slide pass there near the baseline. It'll be up to NJ here off a double team. He'll fight through it, trying to leave it for Harkins, who kicks. Leak at the height disadvantage now out of the corner. Between the leg dribble, throwing to the top. Kwani, was he going to try to be two of two from three-point land? No, give it to Pro. I mean, I wouldn't have hated him for to pull that one. Kwani has it right arc near the sideline in front of the Ram bench. 5.55 mark of the quarter. It's a high pass for NJ. Takes him out of the paint, out of position. But he'll come in with a reverse layup that's no good. Rebounds out of bounds off of the Rams. For all your real estate needs, see Pam Kirkpatrick at Coldwell Banker. She and her staff are here to help seven days a week. Serving the Mount Vernon area since 1986. Well, that's a shot that if uh, NJ could work on a little bit, you know, get into the summer months, that come from one side and finish on the reverse. I'm not saying he's not athletic enough to do it, but it does take a little skill work to kind of get that one down pat and put it in your arsenal. He'll be very dangerous. He's already dangerous, but. Hegemeyer into the corner. Goforth gives it up to Hepker. They kick all the way to the far sideline here for Turner. Crossover dribble, working against Leak. Gets to the elbow, throws it back to the outside for Ritzel. A left-hand dribble up top, doubles back, far side. Turn around, coming inside the paint. Mid-post jumper, no good. Benson, the one-handed rebound. Rams the other way with another defensive board. 5-10 mark of the third. It'll Ooh. be Harkins. Nice over-the-shoulder pass, and that is backdoor to Pro. Barges right on in for the... Post up off the window, 25-14. Hargens over the top of his head. No look, kind of looking towards the block. Threw it over the top of his head to Carson. Carson with a nice little head and shoulder fake. Get a little space finish off the glass. What a nice run to start this third quarter for Mount Vernon. Timeout sponsor, First Mid Bank and Trust, ready to serve all of your banking needs with online and mobile banking. You can bank with First Mid anytime and from anywhere. Quick 20 Wilt scoreboard update for you. Mount Vernon beat Nashville 60-41. Followed that up with a J. That was a freshman team, by the way. Followed it up with a 39-29 JV win. Lady Rams today beat Marion in JV action, 44-34. They stay undefeated at the JV level. 9-0 are the Lady Rams varsity, 59-42 winners over Marion. Uh, other games of interest, Woodlawn beat Weber, 76-49 on the girls' side. Goreville took triple overtime to beat SVW, 42-40 among showcase teams. Boys games of interest today on the showcase on WMIX. Pinckneyville doubled up Woodlawn 62-31. And Centralia has beaten Cahokia in South 7 play 56-38. Fairfield no longer unbeaten. They fall to Mount Carmel today 54-37. Tony Wilt, your State Farm agent in Mount Vernon. Look for that white State Farm Jeep around town and see how you can get to a better state with State Farm. And Anyhow, here. Yeah, well, I'm going to say I w I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure you can look for a recap of the Mount Carmel Fairfield game at section618.com. I think that is where our own Darren Kennard went for that one because we were talking about it last week <laughs> about how that would be a good one to go to. But here, as you said, uh, Mount Vernon with a really nice third quarter here. We're under five minutes to go. They lead. Boy, it didn't feel like it was already 11, but it is. 25-14. And uh, they've done a lot of things right. They've done. It seems like they've almost learned from some of the mistakes that they made against Centralia last night. They're pounding it inside. The, the three is coming naturally because of that. Out of the timeout, Nashville with the basketball. Three on the way is contested. It's no good by Hepker. Rebound will go to Dylan Harkins. 444 mark of the third quarter. Video streaming presented by Ren Lake College. Log on to rlc.edu if you're in need of a career change. They have many programs that can put you to work in less than a year. As we'll have a foul underneath. NJ Benson was trying to work in the post. It was a nice feed. Good post entry pass. But just couldn't get a good look, but he does get a foul. The foul may have had something to do with that. So we get two free throws at the line for NJ Benson. First one in and out. If you're looking for a new doctor, go to ssmhealth.com slash doctors. SSM Health, the healing power of presence. We are in the SSM Health broadcast booth as Benson makes the back end. After missing the front, it's 26-14. Rams by a dozen with 4.30 left in the third. Turner backs up his defender, gets a left-hand layup that's no good, but he's fouled. Has a bevy of teammates there to help him up. He's frustrated that he missed, so he's okay, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, Nashville's going to look to probably get some stuff going towards the basket in the second half of this third quarter. They don't like in the feel how things have kind of trended their direction, or not their direction, I guess I should say. Um, 
in the first half of the third quarter. So they'll be looking to attack and make up ground on the free throw line. First points of the quarter of the half come via that free throw. Now the second point of the half. 26-16, 10 point game, 420 mark of this third quarter. We're live in the King City on 94.1 FM. You can watch us worldwide on the Section 618 app and WMIXSports.com. Three from up top for Kwani, no good. Rebound will be taken away here by Isaac Turner. He's quickly into the front court. Out of the left corner. Throwing to the left wing. This is Isaac Turner. Runner mid post is in and out. Rebound will go the other way. And now it's pro outside the paint. Turnaround coming. Leads to a mid post fade. It's good. Good knockdown shot there by Carson Pro. It's 28-16. He's always had that good mid-range game, and he's kind of added in that little fade shot for him too. So it's nice to see him kind of get back to his roots. Ritzel with it at the free throw line. Cross for dribble. He's at the high post. Looks around inside. Easy find for Isaac Turner. He'll post up. He has four in the quarter, nine on the night. 28-18, Nashville back to within 10. See Josh Finley at Country Financial. Learn more about protection for the things in your life that matter most. Don't forget to get started on a plan for a comfortable future. Josh Finley presents our Ram of the Week award as it's thrown away by the Rams. Unforced error there. That was just simply intercepted as it got away from the Ram as Hagemeyer <laughs> will get it right back after trying to pass to Hepker. It was off his foot. They'll skip a pass to the outside. Dribble drive won't matter. It's a kick to the right wing. Ritzel skips a pass to the corner and too hot to handle apparently for Hepker. It'll be a turnover to Nashville. That was rare sloppy play by the Hornets. Yeah, well, I mean, Mount Vernon's lucky because, you know, down here, Leak gets bullied a little bit too early in the swing of things. Ends up getting Isaac Turner in front of him in great position. Nothing he can do about it unless he just wants to foul him hard. Then he just throws it right into the hands of the defender on the other side. Then N.J. Benson doesn't close out properly. Almost had a three go up, and then luckily on the skip pass, Nashville throws it out of bounds. So I'm running with Christmas in March here on the last couple of possessions. They looked for a lob play from Rudd to Benson underneath. Benson couldn't really finish. Foul was on the floor before he could get the shot off, and the Rams will inbound right of the bucket. That is the third on what well, they announced Gajewski, but it looks like they put the third up. Unless Gajewski checked in, would be why they announced. Yeah. Hello, yeah. I'm, I'm Earth. Have we right. met? <laughs> Rams turn it over. Nashville will go the other way with it. Hegemeyer off of the sideline to Turner. Nice cut toward the basket. His mid-post jumper is short. Rebound will go to N.J. Benson. Now it's Harkins up ahead, using that speed to get the coast-to-coast -coast layup, but there's a foul. Probably that would have caused the travel. So yeah. I was like, they missed the travel, but there was a foul there, yeah, so I that helps. So. Yeah, because I thought I thought maybe they were going to call that travel, but uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think a little shove forced that issue on that one. Buying a vehicle is simple, easy, and fun at Holes Hour Auto and Motorsports in Nashville. Shop all of their brands at HolesHour.com. HolesHours.com, pardon me. 2.23 in the third, 28-18, Rams by 10. Harkins between the leg dribble, gets a screen, nice high ball screen there, and now they'll throw it back to Benson, who skips to the outside here for Pro off of another screen. Comes to the right elbow, throws it to the outside for Leak. Evan looks around, nice feed to the free throw line, it's to Kwani, and what a shot, what a lay-in. He has seven in the quarter, it's 30-18. to Adjusts in midair after the ball was hit on the way up, lays it up off the glass. What a nice take. I love the aggressiveness from Kwani in this second half. 150 to go in the third quarter. 30 to 18. Rams by 12. They look to Turner off of the left wing, skipping to Hagemeyer up top. He'll dribble to the free throw line. Jumper is long. Rebound. <laughs> it's going the leak. He ends up with it instead of Kwani. Kwani laid off when he saw his guy there. And now Leak's going to have it stripped on the way to the bucket. He'll recover. Now outlets to pro. Wide open. Three. Carson is going to rattle off. No good. Tip back. Not there by Leak. All right, then. With a minute 20 left in the third, 30 to 18 score. It's a 12 point game. Turner's going to lose the basketball, and it'll be Hornet ball. That was a good strip by Harkins to get in there. If you've been hurt on the job, call Hannigan and McGovern at 618 241 9251. Minute 10 left. Between the circles, this was Ritzel. Giving up to go forth, and now Ritzel gets it back underneath go forth. It's their show right now. This is the third quarter episode, 103 left, 30 to 18, as we'll have a whistle. That's going to be a foul on Rudd, I believe, as go forth is trying to go right block. If you're Nashville, you're going to have to get a bucket before you know you get too far into this, under this one minute mark. 
Because you really want to bring it inside of 10 heading into the fourth quarter. We'll drop below the minute mark here. Ritzel with it up top of the key. Spin move off dribble. His layup's going to be blocked. They'll call goaltending because that was on its way down and it hit the backboard and all these rules. <laughs> 30 to 20. The rules and stuff. Wait, who was that? <laughs> I forgot to write it in my book. Buzz Ritzel. That's right. NJ threw it off the backboard after it already touched the backboard. It's one way to do it, I guess. We'll hit the 45-second mark here. This trip on the Rams' half of the floor. Rudd left hand dribble around the perimeter. Going to hand off to Pro on the wing. 40 seconds left in the third. 30-20 ball game. Rams by 10. So now you're Nashville. You got what you wanted. You got it at least within 10 heading into the fourth quarter. And just as long as you can have a defensive stop, um, you're okay. You don't love where you sit heading into the fourth, but you're okay with where you sit compared to where you were not that long ago. Busy week for the Rams coming up Tuesday night at home against Marion. Wednesday night to Cahokia. Friday night hosting Cahokia. We'll have video for all but Wednesday as of right now. The Hoke said no. Nine seconds left up top. It's Rudd looking to the outside. We've said had a video covered. Three on the way. Harkins no good. Rebound at the buzzer. Kwani no. And that'll take us to the fourth. 30-20 to 20 score after three. The Mountford and Rams lead the Nashville Hornets. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Where's your playground? This is where it's at. The end of the road is where the real fun begins during the Jeep celebration event at Holtzhauer's in Nashville, Illinois. Oh, and the adventure begins again. Adventures never out of reach. Make memories with every mud pit and rocky terrain. Woo! Earn that post-trip car wash. Jeep hair. Don't care. Let's start your new Jeep life at Holtzhauer's Auto and Motorsports in Nashville, Illinois. Where's your playground? When you have a new Jeep, it's anywhere you want. In today's environment, being able to do all of your banking from home is not only convenient, but a necessity. People's National Bank makes it easy for you to do your banking without actually going to the bank. From online banking, mobile banking, free mobile deposit, to transferring funds and paying bills, it's easy and convenient for you to do your banking all from your mobile phone or computer. Get started by going to peoplesnationalbank.com to sign up for online banking today. People's National Bank, making it easy to bank from anywhere. Member FDIC. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports. 94.1 FM worldwide on the Section 618 app. Chris Hugo with Jake Linder alongside. Eight minutes to go in this one, we think. It's a 10-point game, but still nowhere near safe as we start quarter number four. First two minutes will be pretty telling on what the Hornets do after the score down here and the stop on the other end before the end of the frame. Hegemeyer, left hand dribble, now throws through the left wing here for Hepker. He's been relatively quiet tonight. Turnaround coming. No, they kick it up top. Three on the way. <laughs> Hepker. Remember when I said relatively quiet? He turned up the volume. It's 30 to 23. Hepker on a big tray. Seven-point game here, 726 left in the fourth. The action presented by Holes Hour Auto and Motorsports in Nashville, the official voice of high school sports on WMIX. Three on the way. Harkins will be a nice answer. It's no good. Rebound will go to Turner. And you get the feeling that this one ain't over yet. Turner's at the top of the key, looks to the right side, has go forth, but opts for Ritzel left of the circle. Met one-on-one -on -one with Harkins. Ritzel will spin. Mid-post on the way. No good. Rebound will be tipped to Ritzel. Mid-post. He'll kick and throw it away. And Wayne Hari can't believe it. Acts like he's been snipered between the eyes by a Nerf gun. <laughs> 6.54 left. Oh, man. 30-23. Rams lead the Hornets with 6.45 to play. Right volleyball sideline here for Dylan Harkins. Lady Rams volleyball gets start on March 16th. As Harkins still has it near the scorer's table with the 6.30 minute mark here to play in the fourth quarter. He'll give the leak on the outside. Evans got a dribble drive. Goes block back door. Yes, sir. Left it wide open for N.J. Benson on a slam, and it's 32-23. Rams by a niner. Something fell off somebody somewhere. No problem. That doesn't belong to anybody. Just throw it anywhere. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. Wood flooring, however, can add luxury and value to a home. Southern Illinois Tile and Carpet Supply in Mount Vernon has an amazing selection of traditional distressed, sculpted, even reclaimed wood, all at exceptional prices. Good times. This young man is Mr. Hepker, who is going up for a shot and mm. blocked from behind. No, they give him goaltending, not a foul. I thought they were going to give him all three. <laughs> no, I... Uh, it was it was sort of close. It definitely wasn't uh, wasn't what NJ did earlier, where he blocked it after it already hit the the backboard. But uh, not a lot of upset Rams fans or Rams coaches or players on that one. We play on. Rudd with the basketball up top. Streaming presented by Red Lake College. Log on to rlc.edu. See you can save thousands on your collegiate education. Your journey starts at Red Lake College. 5.33 mark of the fourth. Harkins with the basketball at the volleyball line. Right hand dribble. Backs it up to the circle. Now looks to the right wing for Rudd. It's a left hand. He'll drop it off. Heaven Leak with it. Assuming he'll be back out there as an all-purpose guy for the Mount Vernon Rams football team who opens up their season in Salem on Friday, March 19th. A game that will be right here on 94.1 FM. Hey, an illegal screen or something. It's an yeah. offensive foul and turnover here on the Mount Vernon Rams. Yeah, NJ was moving a little bit too much, and I, I was waiting for that to kind of be a thing. He uh, Some of his screens were a little active, got a little happy feet a couple times, and they, they've kind of let a few of them go. A few of them have been fine, but I was kind of waiting for that to maybe happen. So doesn't surprise me, but uh, Nashville haven't done a whole lot to get them where they'd like to be at this point. You're almost at halfway point, and you haven't really brought it within a couple of possessions. Nice move there inside by Ritzel, but left it short. Got his own rebound, followed it up twice. And Buzz Ritzel has a couple more. Eight on the night. It is 32-27, and Nashville's chipping away. Yeah, of course I said that, and then now we have where we have here. Let Bean Insurance and Chris Bean cover you today. So call 242-6017 or go to beaninsurance.net. Right hand dribble for Kwani. Has a right side open here, but Nashville's defense is quick, and that's going to be a blocked shot out of bounds by Colton Gajewski. Hey, it's a mass timeout. We're under five. It's a dead ball. And at First Mid Bank and Trust, you can count on familiar faces providing friendly banking service. Stop by First Mid at the corner of South 34th and Broadway. Talk with Michelle, Shelley, and the entire First Mid team today and all their smiling faces, which I just occurred to me probably can't see because of masks, but they're still smiling. 32-27 the score. Nashville trails by five. Chipping away at a Ram team that led by as many as 10 to 12 here in the fourth quarter. It was all Nashville after one. Rams outscored the Hornets, I believe, 13 to six after two. And then I'm thinking outsc uh, outscored them 12 to six in the third. All I know is it was a really good third quarter for Mount Vernon. They've kind of gotten away from some of that here in the fourth. Um, real good chance for them to kind of finish things off and kind of, you know, run this one a little bit larger when it comes to the lead and everything because Nashville wasn't really doing anything over the top spectacular for them not to continue doing what they had done in the first, you know, three quarters. Um, but here we are, you know, Nashville has chipped away credit where credit's due. They are a good solid ball club. You knew they weren't going to go away without a fight. Trying to figure out who our next Ram of the Week is going to be. Presented by Josh Finley, our country financial agent here in Mount Vernon. Talk to him today about how he can help ensure the future you're dreaming of is something you can proudly own, no matter what it looks like. To help protect what matters most, call Josh Finley from Country Financial. As Harkins will inbound left of the bucket off of the baseline. It's a lob near the top of the key with 422 left. Kwani Rudd will now hand off to Carson Pro. You're getting to the point where if you don't pick NJ one of these weeks, you might have a ride on your hands. Uh, and I'd be happy with that because that means he's going to score a boatload. And the Rams, I'm not sure what just happened there. I thought it was going to be a layup they, and a foul. Well, but they, they called a, a travel or a, no, a charging foul, I meant to say. Sorry. Oh. On uh, Carson Pro. But okay. I can see that. I mean, he had to alter his shot on the right side with the left hand. So I don't know. Not sure about that one. Midway through the fourth, 32-27. Rams lead the Nashville Hornets. A surprise game is originally supposed to have been modern day tonight. And now we'll have some contact in the paint. It'll be a travel. That was one of those where it had to be something. And yeah, no kidding. The veteran official of the group will make the travel call. 32-27 game. Midway through the fourth. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, 
not to harp on last night, but there was a bunch of plays that just played on. And sometimes that's okay, but sometimes it's like something's got to be called one way or another there, and that was one of those situations. Good call. Kwani with it outside the paint. Turnaround coming. It's going to rattle off, but there's NJ to put it up and in, and one. NJ will look for a very lucky 13 at the free throw line. He currently has – no, he did. I'm sorry. He's looking for 15. I can't 15. add. You're right. <laughs> Any former Mount Vernon Township High School educators that could be within earshot, probably very disappointed in my <laughs> poor math. Well, they, but they, they signed off of my diploma, yeah, so there just, they go. They That's just, on them. They knew you were getting into radio. They weren't too worried about it. 35-27. Rams by eight as NJ makes the free throw. 342 mark of the fourth quarter. Rams lead it by eight. A matchup that many had for many years clamored for, especially in 1999, hoping to see these two teams get together. As up top, I'll explain more throughout. Although everybody who's listening already knows. Oh, these are my favorite. These lengthy stories. <laughs> Ritzel with it, left-hand dribble. Between multiple possessions, these are my favorite. As now, let's see. Ritzel will turn around for the free throw line. It's good. Back in 98-99, two very talented teams at both schools, of course, as Ritzel has 10. It's 35-29, and it's going to be Carson Pro weaving through traffic. We'll have a foul. Both teams very good. The Rams, of course, nationally ranked. Nashville, I can't remember if they ever were ranked nationally, but very well. Uh, heavyweights within the state. They were favored to probably win a state title, to be honest with you. Get upset by Waterloo Jabot in a regional championship. Jabot, I think, goes on to win second place. Rams lose Chris Morgan at the time to a knee injury, I believe, either, I think, in the sectional title. Either way, uh, got beat by Darius Miles in East St. Louis in a super sectional. It's 35 29 now, 3 10 left in the fourth. But so many similar storylines between the two teams as Harkins is across the timeline. It's going to be Kwani Run. I'm trying to give the abridged version here. As Harkins off the right wing, gives to Leak on the left wing. Back hey, to Kwani. We got three minutes, so. We do. 35 <laughs> 29, Rams by six. Step back here for, for Leak. Keep in mind, both teams played in the Coca Cola Camel X shootout that year. As Leak will go for a layup. Nope, back door. And using the glass that time, NJ Benson, seven in the quarter, 17 on the night. 37 29. Rams and Rams got Rainier Beach. Near Seattle with Jamal Crawford, who went on to Michigan and better things. As this will be stolen away by Harkins into the front court. Eight-point game. Rams trying to get it back to double figures. Harkins pivoting around, looking for some help, and gets it to the outside for Kwani. Ball fake. It's a shot fake, as a matter of fact. Kicks it right back to Harkins for a three that's short. Rebound to go to Nashville. So Kent Williams and the Rams score 95 points in that one. Kent has 48, which was the all-time record of the shootout. As we have coming around here, Hefker at the mid post, looking for a shot inside. Nashville, I can't remember the result, God's honest truth. But they had Kelly Cruiser. Kelly, of course, originally from Mount Vernon, never played here. Older brother CJ did. Father John, of course, was the AD here for a long time. Uh, big AD in school history. Goes on to Nashville, same position. I believe created the South Seven Gold Cup, so he's really the godfather of the Gold Cup, if you will. <laughs> and all these similarities, and everybody wanted these two teams to play, and of course they didn't. So really, I left you with disappointment. Okay, well, I mean, hey, you but had me hooked. They're so. playing now. As the free throws don't yield anything at the line here for the Hornets with less than two to play. It's 37-29, modern-day Rams against the modern-day Hornets. I didn't, I didn't know the story. Timeout. So, I mean, it yeah, was I nice mean, for me all, the, all the fans wanted the two teams to play. Of course, Darren Lee in Nashville, Doug Creel in his first tenure as the head coach of the Rams. Had just taken the Rams to state a couple of years ago. Nationally ranked, undefeated regular season. Beat everybody. Blyville, Arkansas came up for a game like on December 4th on a Friday night or something. And then, like, six days later, they played Rainier Beach, Washington at the Coca-Cola Camo X shootout. And, like, Ken Williams and Scott Gamber combined for 67 points, but Ken had 48 of them. And everybody made fun of Scott for years, still do it to this day, and then all of that. So it was a good time back then. Both of these two teams were very, very good, and they always have been on and off, but that year especially. Everybody made fun of him. Yep. Well, it was always kind of like a running joke. Hey, be, uh, it's, like, it's like, hey, Scott, you're, on the other, you're the other half of the highest-scoring duo all time of the Coca-Cola Camo X shootout. But, you know, it was like 67 points, and Ken had 48 of them. <laughs> I only have 49 like a couple weeks later against Carbondale at home. Should we ask Brian, who's sitting below us, if uh, he makes fun of his brother? I mean, everybody, like, really, uh, media <laughs> and stuff like that. I can't imagine Brian would take part in that. But, yeah, well, I, the Red Lake College head coach, Brian Gamer, in front of us. That time out was presented by First Mint Bank and Trust. And it's an eight-point game here, 37-29. And just there's been so many, you know, Nashville games used to be on WMIX back in the day before NS WNSV was built. Of course, they're here tonight, our sister station. 
But so many, so many dynamics that tie in together between the two communities. Very basketball rich, sports rich. Yeah. Yeah, I told you you should have had Bo over here. Bo Meyer, longtime voice of Re Nashville sports. Retired and had no interest in I doing know, any broadcasting I know. whatsoever. I know. I begged and pleaded. But and Bo that's knows. nothing against the, the gentlemen who are very good doing the no, game now. No, absolutely not. But I mean, Bo knows. Bob, Bo knows. Absolutely. You know, so. Right of the circle here, 37-29. And Harkins will be fouled as Nashville will start fouling here, and as they should, down eight. And, of course, another name you mentioned in that story, Doug Creel, sitting to our left here. They're all here. I'm not sure if DC's listening or not. He's feeding me more information because we've talked about this so many times <laughs> off air. He dro name dropped GJ King, who had a message board way back in the day, recruiteronline.com. So if he's listening, he knows I know what I'm talking about. With 121 left to go because he's on his way to Harrisburg to do a game. But 37-29 here, minute 20 left in this one. Another foul. This time Pro will go to the line to shoot the one and one. It was a loaded shootout that year at the KMOX shootout, Thursday, December 10th, 1998, I believe. First free throw pro is going to lead to another as he makes the first. 38-29. That was almost as entertaining as your 30-minute pregame show. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. You win some, you lose a lot. <laughs> Second one on the way, good. Very good free throw shooter is Carson Pro. That gives it a 10-point game, 39-29. I was so enamored by your story. I missed a bucket for Nashville somewhere. We're going to have to find that before we get to the stats at the end here. Oh, we will. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show coming up at the end of this one. It'll be Ritzel to inbound with a minute 17 left to go in the fourth. 39-29. Uh-oh, a pop three here for Hepker is no good. Rebound to Plinko a couple of times. Fall into the hands of Kwani Rudd. We'll drop below the minute mark here, and it looks as if Wayne Hari and the Nashville Hornets may suffer their first loss of the year. Maybe a more interesting factoid is Here we go. Wayne or coached like 13 years on the girls' side. It was like 129 and 1 in the conference. That's, now that's impressive. So th when you said that earlier, who was the one lost to? I, probably AJ, like an 04 or something. Hmm. They had Cassie Drew. Don't, name, dro don't drop that name around Jeff Lonnan either. 39 29 the score, 54 seconds to go in the fourth. He coached a very good Benton team that ran into that AJ team. Well, that's what I was going to ask when you mentioned AJ. I didn't know if that was, you know, Lonnan's time. No, or? no, he was at Benton at the time. 39-29 the score. Off a double-team pro, and the Rams are going to improve to 8-2 tonight as they defeat a very good Nashville team. Rams will be back at a Tuesday night here on blackout night against Marion. Finding a trap is Leak. Now they find Harkins up top with 25 seconds, and the Hornets will veer that way to trap. They're not going to give up defense, and no no issues here. Don't mean it like that, but, I mean, I love how that, that's a team that never, ever quits. Yeah. There's a lot to love about the Nashville Hornets year in and year out. 12 seconds left, 39-29 Rams here late in the fourth quarter. We'll have your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show coming up. This is WMIXFM, Mount Vernon, and all of Southern Illinois, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. Rams win it tonight. Final score, Mount Vernon 39, Nashville 29. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Here's your orthopedic center of Southern Illinois, MVT. Kayla Kraft, chorus and band teacher for Christopher Elementary and High Schools. Her nominee calls her one of a kind, dedicating herself to finding engaging and educational ways to reach students of all ages. Nominate your most valuable teacher at section618.com. MVT is brought to you by SIU Credit Union. Joiner Therapy Services, Holzauer Auto and Motorsports, Johnny Logan College, and Graphics Galore in Marion. Do you have a minor illness or injury? Get quick care at SSM Health Express Clinics. With locations in Centralia and Mount Vernon, they offer quality medical care that works with your schedule. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 7 to 7, and Sunday, 8 to 2. The Express Clinic in Mount Vernon and the primary care in Centralia are COVID-19 drive through testing centers. To schedule an appointment, visit ssmhealth.com slash quickcare. Needing a new vehicle and looking for a hassle-free environment? Shop with Munkin Toyota in Mount Vernon. Family-owned since 1967, Munkin treat you like their own with transparency pricing and excellent service. They enjoy their job and helping you make a big life decision. Conveniently located on Highway 15. Stop by or visit MunkinToyotaMountVernon.com. From my family to yours, with guaranteed satisfaction, Munkin's the one. 
No cans. No more. Okay, let's log in and look for insurance. Okay, no, click here. Okay, no, not that. What? That's not affordable. Now, now where are you taking me? One eternity later. I've been sitting here so long looking for insurance. I think I entered a new age group. Stop. Just one call to Hall Insurance in Mount Vernon is all you have to do. Go to hallinsgroup.com or call 244-7500. Hall Insurance Group at 10th and Main in Mount Vernon. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show starts now. 94.1 FM worldwide on the Section 618 app tonight. The Rams wrap up a 39-29 win over the Nashville Hornets. The Hornets dropped to 10-1. The Rams are now 8-2. Chris Hugo, Jake Linder alongside Eli Eplin back at the studio. Zach Matt Miller is with us in the SSM Health broadcast booth. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac is, as always, at SchmidtChevrolet.com and 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. And, of course, the Rams a nice win tonight. That's yeah. all you can really say about it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it was. I feel like, you know, somebody might say, well, you guys didn't talk a whole lot about the action there in the fourth quarter. But I'm telling you, from the three-minute mark to about the one-minute mark, the Rams just took care of the basketball, and they just took care of business there at the very end. They played good defense all night long, but especially down the stretch uh, in that third and fourth quarter. And uh, I love the aggressiveness from Kwani Rudd here tonight. He ends up finishing with seven points and uh, seven rebounds. Those, you know, those seven points after that first quarter, there's a couple more. If he's as aggressive in the second half as he was in the first and second quarter with taking it to the rim and finishing, he probably ends up at least in double figures, maybe 12 or 14 or something like that. Um, but I like to see his adjustment into the second half being way more aggressive because it was almost like he was waiting for the contact a little too much and to go to the line and that sort of thing. Um, but your reigning uh, Ram of the Week definitely did a nice job in the second half being way more aggressive here in this one. We'll take a quick break on our Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame. Come back with some scoring and stats as we still owe you your Mountford and Culver's three stars of the game and so much more. This is your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show. Final score, Mountford and Rams 39, Nashville Hornets 29. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. There is still time to take classes this spring at Rin Lake College. Late start classes are eight weeks long beginning March 8th. You'll find several options that count toward a degree or certificate, like accounting and business, speech and English, music, healthcare, and more. Plus, Rin Lake offers truck driving sections and the full CNA nursing course that's tuition free for in district students. Head to rlc.edu slash eight week to learn more or call them at 437 5321. Late start classes March 8th at rlc.edu slash eight week. Your journey starts at Rin Lake College. Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Eaton, an interventional pain management specialist with Crossroads Specialty Clinic. If you're tired of suffering from back, neck, knee, or shoulder pain, give my office a call, 618-767-6338. I have over 17 years of pain management experience, and my goal is to help you control your chronic pain and live your life to the fullest. My new office is located at Crossroads Community Hospital with preferred patient parking in the back. To schedule an appointment, call 618-767-6338. Back to Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Holzhauer Auto and Motorsports. 94.1 FM worldwide on the Section 618 app tonight. The Mount Vernon Rams victorious over the Nashville Hornets. 39-29 is the final score. As the Rams are now 8-2 on the year, Nashville drops to 10-1. With Jake Linder, I'm Chris Hugo. For the Mountford and Rams, it's a big win, a big bounce-back win after losing to Centralia on the road last night, 51-47. It's a 10-point victory, Jake, over a well-coached team, and the stats will tell the tale of this one. Yeah, if you're the Rams, uh, you came in here, you took care of defending home floor. Um, you've only not done that one other time this year. Unfortunately, it had to be against the Orphans. Um, but you're taking care of business whenever you have to take care of business, and it's something that... Um, it's a quality win against a quality program and uh, one that both teams will um, use for the rest of the year in making adjustments and, you know, showing what they can do against uh, really good teams against each other. So leading score for the Nashville Hornets, Buzz Ritzel had 12 points. He was 4 of 13 from the field, 1 of 3 from behind the arc. He was 3 of 4 from the line. He ended up getting in on 7 rebounds as well. 5, or excuse me, 7 points for Isaac Turner, 3 of 9 overall. Had a few rebounds as well. Five points for Saxton Hepker. He was two of three from the field. One of those shots coming from behind the arc. 0 of two at the line. 
And also three points for Nolan Hegemeyer here in this one. Two points for Colton Guy Eski. Three of six from the charity stripe for the Nashville Hornets. Four of 11 from behind the arc. Seven of 19 inside and 11 of 30. That's a really good uh, stat if you're the Mount Vernon Rams looking at defense. 11 of 30, 37% from the field for them. They had 13 total rebounds, only three of them offensive. And uh, pretty good on the turnovers route. I had them at five. They probably had a few more that I missed uh, down the stretch. But under 10 probably for sure if I had to guess with the way the game flowed overall. 17 points for N.J. Benson, 8 rebounds for him. He'll no doubt be one of our three stars of the game coming up. 12 points for Carson Pro. He was 4 of 7 overall, 2 of 4 from inside, three, 2 of 3 from outside, 2 of 2 at the line with 3 rebounds in there as well. Kwani Rudd had 7 points, could have easily been in double figures, a couple of them free throws and or a couple of them layups that he uh, kind of altered his shot, fall his way. He could have easily been in a different uh, scoring category. He ended up having seven rebounds as well. Three points for Dylan Harkins, and that's all the scores for the Rams. They were 14 of 34 from the field at 41%, four of eight from behind the arc, and seven of eight from the line. They did all the other things right tonight. They played great defense, seven of eight from the line, like I said, and four of eight from behind the arc. Only nine turnovers is what I have, Matt, so maybe put them at 11 if I missed a couple in there. But 23 total rebounds. Uh, five of them offensive, and those are the things that uh, get you a lot of ball games, a lot of wins, especially when you hold a team under 30 points, and then you score over 30. That helps as well. 39-29 is your final Rams win this one. 10-1 and one are the Hornets. Now 8-2 and two are the Rams. Rams have Marion coming in on Tuesday night. And, of course, I keep thinking about a juicy Butterburger from oh. our friend at Culver's. I'm not sure what the flavor of the day was. I didn't go that way uh, on my way. I normally uh, try to look or somebody feeds me that info. Usually it's the latter more than the former. Uh, but... That said, we'll take a quick break on the Schmidt Schmidt Cadillac postgame show. Come back with your three stars of the game presented by your Mount Vernon Culver's. It's all still to come. Schmidt Schmidt Cadillac, however, is at 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon online at SchmidtChevrolet.com. And, of course, when you're ready, they'd love to have you as a customer. Let's see. Mount Vernon Rams 39, Nashville Hornets 29. That's the final score. We'll come back and wrap it up. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports and the Section 618 app. Do you have a minor illness or injury? Get quick care at SSM Health Express Clinics. With locations in Centralia and Mount Vernon, they offer quality medical care that works with your schedule. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 7 to 7, and Sunday, 8 to 2. The Express Clinic in Mount Vernon and the primary care in Centralia are COVID-19 drive through testing centers. To schedule an appointment, visit ssmhealth.com slash quick care. Never had a Culver's Butter Burger? Here are the three things you'll want to remember. Fresh, never frozen beef. Seared after you order. Crowned with a lightly buttered toasted bun. I guess that's why the number one reaction to eating a Culver's Butter Burger is, whoa, that is some burger. Welcome to Delicious. And your new favorite are seared after you order Culver's Butter Burger. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Culver's three stars of the game are next. 94.1 FM and the Section 618 app. We do owe you three stars of the game tonight here on your Schmitz Lake Cadillac postgame show. Jake Linder. I'm Chris Hugo, by the way. Not that I matter right now because Jake's going to read the three <laughs> stars of the game. But it's customary to introduce yourselves when you return after a while. So, Jake, who are our Mount Vernon Culver's three stars of the game? I'll give the number three star to Buzz Ritzel from Nashville. Uh, 12 points, 4 of 13 from the field, 3 of 10 from inside the arc, 1 of 3 from out, 3 of 4 from the line, and had 7 rebounds uh, here tonight as well. Buds Ritzel, um, your number third star of the game for Nashville. Two Rams making up the one or the two and number one stars of the game. Number two goes to Carson Pro. 12 points for him, 4 of 7 from the field, 2 of 4 from inside, 2 of 3 outside, 2 of 2 at the line, 3 rebounds. And then, of course, N.J. Benson, 17 points here tonight, 6 of 12 from the field. Overall, 5 of 6 from the line and 8 rebounds to my unofficial and probably terrible stat-keeping numbers. So we go Buzz Ritzel, the number 3 star, Carson Pro, the number 2, number 1 to N.J. Benson, both of the top two for the Mount Vernon Rams, who win 39-29 over Nashville. Got to make sure I text the three stars of the game to our little buddy Brian Reynolds, who <laughs> asked me every night, and sometimes I remember, and sometimes I don't. Well, as long you know, as you, how, you know me, time. my ADHD, I start to tune out and just do my own thing. Yeah. Well, you got that's what happens. You got a spaceship to run over there. I got the easy <laughs> job this year so far. So, well, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not gonna argue. Well, yeah, no, you're not, right. not this year. <laughs> Most years, I would, I would be like, nah. But uh, this year, it's just for all of us been chaotic. And I, I want to make. We thanked a lot of people last night, of course, because last night we knew there'd be a lot of people logged on, watching the video, and listening, and whatnot. But uh, a huge debt of gratitude to a lot of people pulling this year off, uh, obviously. And you know, for the Rams, it's a nice bounce back win. Jake Linder, I think they'll take it. I think they'll put it in their pocket and not think too hard about it. They'll reflect on it after the season, but they'll head into Tuesday night looking for a date with Marion, knowing they have Cahokia on the road Wednesday. And then Friday, they will have another home game with Cahokia, so it's a busy week. Yeah, and you want to go want to go 4-0 to end the year. You would have liked to go five, liked to have gone 5-0 and to end the year and get that win against Centralia to at least share of have the unofficial conference title um, here this year. You know, your lone blemish before that game last night was against the Orphans. You really wanted to come back to their place and take care of business, and they were real close. They were real close a lot of times, and uh, so it was unfortunate they couldn't get a win. But now you got to focus on – you had to focus on this one because you knew you had a tough matchup coming into Nashville. You took care of business. You held them under 30. There's a lot of things that you could have worked on because I'm sure um, there were some points left out there as well. But now next week you focus on your last three games of the year. You talk about uh, blackout night, which is a little different this year. Yeah, that's pretty Marion. cool. Yeah, and then you got the two against Cahokia. So – you want to only have the couple losses in the South 7. You want to finish undefeated in the last week of the, the only part of the season. I was almost going to say regular season, but it's the only part of the season. And, um, you know, a couple of those games you're going to have to defend home floor. So that's what you got to do, and that's what they're looking forward to here for the rest of the year. Indeed. Busy week for us. We have the Lady Rams at Cahokia on Monday night, and I know I'll forget a showcase game because I've been trying to study the Rams schedule just so I know where I'm supposed to be when. Well, it's... If my memory serves correctly, and we got a we, showcase game Tuesday. We go to Goreville on Tuesday, yeah, uh, for Woodlawn again. So that'll be a fun matchup for those two teams. They always seem to play each Re other. Rematch of last year's sectional championship, right. and we'll leave that there, right? <laughs> for for <laughs> numerous <laughs> reasons, right? So then yeah. we got that one, and then there's a there's actually a girls showcase game um, in the middle part of the week. It's um, let me pull it up here. We'll just go ahead and Woodlawn Wayne City girls run through them. Yes. And that one will be at Wayne City for the uh, Woodlawn team. And then we'll finish up the showcase for the year, Woodlawn at home against Wayne City for the boys game. Now that should be a fun one because those two teams, um, we'll just say they're just not very friendly over the last couple of years in conference play. And rightfully so. They were you know, two top dogs uh, in the Midland Trail. So that's the schedule for the showcase next week. Meanwhile, you're, we are your voice for the Cahokia Comanches next week as well. That's right. As the uh, Lady Rams head to Cahokia on Monday night, we'll have it for you here again. We're apparently, no video from Cahokia. They do their own thing, and they're happy to do it. So we'll head over there Monday night for the Lady Rams. I believe RJ has a call that one. Wednesday yes. night, to be determined, we, we will head over there as the Rams play Cahokia. And then Thursday night, the Lady Rams welcome Cahokia here, if memory serves correctly. And then Friday night, the Rams welcome Cahokia here. So uh, it's, it's a lot of Vern and Hoke. Yeah, this no coming kidding. week. And uh, Jake, any final thoughts? Uh, no, I just think that if uh, you're the Rams, you've got um, you've definitely got your work cut out for you to finish out the year. I mean, you've got conference matchups, you got a road game in there, you got to play Marion here, um, and you know, like I said, there's a lot to there's a lot of business to take care of to finish out the year. Yes, you feel like you should have had both of those back against the Orphans, and you should be undefeated at this point. But you can't start looking backwards in such a short season. You just got to take care of what's in front of you. Uh, that cliche is more important now than ever so um final thought would be that the uh be interesting conversation hopefully coach holloway will get me some time on monday night for rams in review and uh i know we've already got pretty much what we need from coach lon and i'll just do a part two interview with him on monday night at six o'clock there we go it's all coming up on wmix am and fm for jake linder for eli eplin for zach matt miller for all of us at wmix sports i'm chris hugo final score tonight the mount Vernon rams